Substack has updated uh, the theme, the layout, the options you have to customize your theme on Substack. You can see with mine, the online writing guide, I have actually gone in and, and done some changes to the layout. And this is something people have been asking for for a long time, and Substack has arranged for us to lay things out a little bit differently. So today, I want to show you how to use the new theme layout tools for your Substack. So you'll click on your dashboard, you'll go to your dashboard page, and then you'll go to settings. From there, you'll scroll, scroll down and find under website, which is right here, site design, and you will customize that. And you'll see here, nothing down here on the, de the design end, nothing much has really changed. It's pretty much the same options, same font, same color. You can change the background, the accents, which is like this button. None of that's changed, but what's changed is this. You can do feature, which what that does is it puts your most recent post at the top of your home page, and then it has down here your feed. Here's everything else you've published. You can then decide, do you want to show your most popular post below it? If so, then check that. If you don't, uncheck it, and it just looks like this. Um, so that's one option, feature. Newspaper, which is the one I currently have on the online writing guide, it puts your three most recent posts on the home page up top with with your most recent one center stage then off to the side it puts a list of your top five most popular posts off to the side and down below it you still have your feed of here's all your your post in order or list you could also though down below you could do your post in a grid and you know i think personally I think I actually like that better, and so I think I'm going to do that. So you could have, go back to feature here, you could have them in a list if you just want it linear, or if you want a grid, they'll show up like that. So it's kind of your choice there. Um, and then magazine, magazine, it puts five of your most recent posts up here. You can do this also as grid or as a list. Um, and you can even hide images if you don't want the images to show up. You can just do a list of the articles there. I like the images to show up. Um, and then you can include your top post, and they'll show up below all of that. So those are the options you have. Personally, I like right now I'm using the newspaper, and I think I'm going to use the grid like this. Personally, that's just right now that's... That's the option that I'm really leaning towards personally right now. So I'll set that theme. And then what you will see is when you go back to the home page, it will have made those changes. And so you see, here's my three most recent articles. Here's my most popular on the side. And then here's in that grid form, here's all the articles I've published. Now, Substack then has, has set that up to where you can make those changes on your Substack. You have more options, more flexibility as far as the design of your Substack newsletter goes. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Uh, go experiment with it. See which options you like and get them set up on your own Substack. Hope you have a good rest of your day.